welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium and Channel. So welcome to the show. I am so happy for this show and so grateful for each and every one of you that are is are joining me. <laughs> oh. So um, today's show is going to be uh, hopefully pretty freaking phenomenal. Um, I think it's going to be a goofy show just based on my energy all morning. <laughs> just saying, I'm just saying. Um, uh, we, I'm going to be taking callers live and they can ask questions, connect with loved ones. If loved ones pop in, I will let you know and tell you who the loved one is based on description. Um, <clears throat> if they're already coming in, oh my God, I don't even have a caller yet. Slow down. So somebody is saying the word, the name Joe, Joe, Joe. But first, let me just hold on to your Joe. <laughs> hold on to your Joe. Hey, Patrick. Uh, I want to say hi to everybody on YouTube. That would be Patrick, Heather, Sal, Genevieve, and okay, somebody else. Fawn, thank you so much. And Sal, I think I said Sal. Thank you so much for tapping in and saying hi in the YouTube chat. Heather has already asked for a clearing on our home and um, anything in our home. So we're going to do that. Let's go. Our homes and everybody in our homes are clear. I get a no. So let's Let's clear that. That's a big one, folks. That is a really big one. Um, oh, oh, thank you, Patrick. So I'm hearing the name Joe, Joe, Joe. And right away, uh, uh, not pa not Patrick, I'm sorry. Vaughn says, I had a father-in-law, Joe. Well, there's a somebody's coming in saying the, the name Joe. Now, when they say Joe, when I hear a name, that means it's either a message for somebody here or it's somebody's name on the other side. <clears throat> so if I ask Joe, are you here for Fawn? Yep, they're here for you, Fawn. Um, Fawn, one of the things that um, that uh, Joe wants to say is, um, there's a couple things. The first word I get is looking, um, uh, looking, 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 and then like looking good, but keep looking up. Keep looking up. Keep looking up. Um, keep looking toward. I don't. I, I could make a pre, uh, guess as to this means. Like keep looking up to the sky because you're going to see something in the sky, or just keep looking up, having a good attitude. But you're going to know better than I do what keep looking up means. Also, um, oh, that song. Okay, keep looking up because then that song defining the keep keep looking up. The song, um, Don't Let the World See You Crying, comes in. I, I don't really know that song, and I I, it, I can't sing, so I'm not going to eat. It, I, could, I could try to sing this, but it's, I, it, it's kind of a sad song, and if I sound the most horrible at singing anything, it is sad songs, for real. Just saying. And then the next thing Joe is saying is don't. Don't let the world get you like, don't let the world like whatever is going on right now. Or if something comes in, keep, keep yourself in that really strong, positive space. Everything's about to turn around. Oh, folks. Oh, folks. Holy folks. There is stuff going on all around this world. Our news is not reporting and oh, good for us stuff. Good for us stuff, folks. We need to follow suit soon enough. Not right now, but soon enough. Um, I would implore everybody to find video on what happened in Sri Lanka this weekend. <laughs> Anybody else know how many prime ministers and cabinet members have stepped out and major prime ministers too? It's getting juicy, juicy. It's getting good. You know, I think they turned, they went to CERN and they turned on that big machine and maybe they expected one thing, but here we are. <laughs> Keep going, folks. Fight. 
don't fight, physically fight for our freedoms, but keep our freedoms. We were born free to be free to create. Let's stay free, folks. Let's stay free. Okay. So Fawn wants to say yes, love, love him. So, oh, he loves you too, Fawn. Okay. Let me get back to Joe. Uh, and the last message that Joe would have for you is that he wants you to know you're going to, you're going to be okay. Everything's going to work out. <clears throat> and then he's saying the word medical. False negative, not, not positive. And don't worry, it's all going to work out and be okay. I don't know where that sits for you because everybody who is watching and or listening, um, Fawn is a person that comes through on my chat. And it's not like when somebody's on the phone and I can get, get their feedback necessarily. But whatever this is, Fawn, whatever's happening, don't let, don't let the... Um, Oh, don't let the sun catch you crying. Don't let the sun catch you crying. I think th that's that's it. Fawn, I know you're, okay, Fawn just said on the chat, I'm very healthy. It doesn't have to be about you. Okay, so that's the thing. When, when I give a message, even though Joe is coming through and communicating with you, they, he Joe may be communicating for someone else, and this might be, be something that you're not even aware of yet. My messages aren't about what's a prediction, folks. What's a prediction? <laughs> ah, everybody always says that. That's not going on. Well, no, not yet. It's a. It's something that could be coming in. It's something you might not know about yet, or it could be about a loved one or somebody in your life that you're going to um, find out about so if he's talking about something medical and it's not about you it could be about you but it's if it's not about you then it's about somebody in in your life and it might not even be somebody that you're very close to but something you're going to be privy to is the word he's using and you're going to just instinctively know now that everything's going to work out and it's going to be okay and, and you don't have to worry about their diagnosis or what's going to happen. It's not going to be the be all end all of things. And if it is for you, let's just say something comes in um, next month or next week and heaven help us, it doesn't, but it's going to be okay. It's going to be a, um, like, a, it's going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Every Whomever this is, is um, referring to, they're going to be okay. It's going to be, and get it. it when you get a test and they give you the wrong like sometimes when somebody takes a pregnancy test and it's a false positive or a false negative it's it's like actually the opposite but everything's okay and it's the way you want it to be um so whatever it is it, it, i'm going to say whatever it is like for example i'm not saying it's pregnancy that was just the easiest thing that came to my mind in this moment but whatever it is whatever the test result you want is the test result that's going to be even if at first they say no it's not that it's that it's it's going to be your your you're going to get what you want you're going to get what you want okay everybody couple quick things and thank you Fawn thank you for letting me know thanks for claiming Joe I really appreciate it and thank you for corresponding with the message because that's really important when somebody comes through from the other side for you that you you uh correspond with them okay so i also have a chris here and a jill here but you guys have to just hold your pants because i have a couple more announcements to make oh god the other side is coming in <laughs> ah! like they're being very vocal in my ears this morning um and the, okay so first um guys i'm doing tons and tons of clearings on TikTok. Okay, not tons. I'm exaggerating. <laughs> I put another clearing up this morning on TikTok to find your perfect love and to clear anything that's stopping or blocking you from your perfect love. So all my single people, all my single people, all my single people, all my single people, get on TikTok, get on TikTok. I, I really can't keep that beat going. I, I, I would try, but I can't. Okay, now next. Um, there's going to be more clearings coming on TikTok, and it's at Psychic Tony. That's my first TikTok page, my second TikTok page. You guys, I hope you, I hope, I hope you laugh at this, and I'm going to tell you. Um, 
I started a second TikTok page. It's live.beauty.reviews, okay? And I'm going to be doing reviews of all these beauty gadgets that I bought that I purchased over the years and and telling like how they worked for me personally. Now, my journey is a little bit different than everybody else's. My skin is a little bit different than everybody else's, but I'm also going to be doing... <laughs> live demos on there. <laughs> I'm trying to get that page up to a thousand so that I can go live. And in, um, on, um, I think it's August 12th. Nope. That's when I'm going to be at white pearl spa a week from this Wednesday, I'm going to be, um, getting a procedure done live on there. So go over like that page and then watch <laughs> You can watch me get a procedure I've never had done before done on there. And you can comment and ask questions and um, see if it's something you would like or just watch me. And I have a little bit of a low threshold to pain when it comes to certain things like needles and stuff. And it makes me really freaked out. So it should be very entertaining. <sighs> It should be just this entertaining. Okay, and if you uh, want me to get a procedure done, if there's something like you've been hesitating getting done and you're not sure about it, um, leave a comment on that page and I will we'll figure out how, how we can do it as long as it's in alignment with something that's okay for me. <laughs> okay, so we have a Jill here and we have a um, Chris here. Um, okay, so Chris, okay, Chris, Chris, Chris came in first, so I'm going to go to Chris first, and Chris is saying, um, he's singing this song, Don't Worry, Be Happy. It, it kind of has like an island beat, don't worry, be happy. Da, na, 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 na. I don't know all the words, so I'm just doing a beat to it. I think by just those words and saying the island beat, that's the appropriate. Most people will know that's a song. And then the second thing he's saying, um, um, what goes down must come up. So don't worry, be happy. And then he's singing that song round and round, round and round. What goes around comes around. God, man, how many people remember that song? And if you don't, you might not be old enough to be on my show. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm joking. Round and round. Who sang that? I know one, one, I know who's going to know exactly who's saying that on my chat, um, round and round, um, what goes around comes around. And then, um, I'm seeing, um, okay. So then Chris is wearing, um, psych, psych cyclist gear and then biking away and saying, stay like stay breezy or stay, stay good, stay breezy, stay good, stay breezy. Okay. The scorpions. Thank you, Vaughn. The scorpion saying that. Okay. And then Jill is here. Somebody named Jill. And this could be for anybody listening on or watching on, um, um, anybody watching on TV, listening on YouTube, uh, watching on YouTube, any podcast, even if, if you're not interacting with me right now, the, and it's really important for me to say that about Jill. Jill is saying, because maybe that Jill, Jill might be connected with somebody here, but also that, that Jill, Jill is saying that, um, she's singing this song. Will you still love me tomorrow? It's, so this is either for Jill or it is somebody named Jill. The last person was named Chris and, and a male, by the way. Uh, and Jill is singing the song, Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow? And is saying, um, don't you forget about me. No, 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 no. 
Don't you forget as you walk on by. Okay, and then Jill wants to say, um, I will love you for always. I will love you forever. Don't ever think I could forget about you. I will be with you day and night. I'm going to help you walk through this world. You're not alone. So somebody who lost somebody named Jill, this is the message that they're bringing to you. And it doesn't mean you had to lose Jill today or yesterday. You could have lost her six months ago, a year ago. Um, and she's just letting you know that this is this is um, the message that she's bringing through. And then I hear the word mom, mom. So I don't know the person who... who knows this person, the person that this message is for, they're going to know immediately. It's going to make sense to them immediately. And callers, thank you for being patient. I'm going to be with you in just a second. Um, is it rat? It could be rat. It could be, okay, that song round and round. Somebody give me who, who sings that song round and round. I have the scorpions and I have rat. So I don't, I'm not, believe it or not, I, I'm not a lyrical, lyrical gangsta. <laughs> I'm sorry, the random person is correct. Okay, it's rat. Yep, thank you, Patrick. It is rat. It is rat. Jennifer, could this be my cousin Christian from Australia? Who I don't know, um, Genevieve, was Christian a cyclist? Because the person who is uh, Chris, um, they took, they, they biked. They biked a bit. Whoever Chris was, a male, Chris biked a bit. So... Um, whomever that is, it, it, whoever knows that Chris, that's who it's for. Um, okay, you guys, by the way, I just want to say a little something here. This, this water, this C2O coconut water is my absolute favorite thing in the world. I adore this water. I'm like in love. This is my new boyfriend. I love this water. It's so good. Um, at first, when you drink it, you might not feel like it has a different flavor to it, but it's extremely highlight um, hydrating. It has a lot of electrolytes in it, and it, I wish I was being paid for it because it's a little for for water. It's a little pricey, but it's actually there is other coconut water on the market. I recommend whatever coconut water you drink, first of all, make sure it's pure, 100% pure. And this one is 100% pure. They don't add anything to it. And that's the most important thing because why would we put like something so healthy in our body that they've added sugar or preservatives to that just doesn't even make sense to me. But um, yeah, it's, it's so good. I just love this. If you try it, you have to have it cool at refrigerate it and then it does have a little bit of a different flavor at first but then once you're used to it you don't want anything else it's it's just amazing and i use it with all my smoothies so when i make smoothies i'll use this with um mangoes and pineapple and some cucumbers oh my freaking lord yeah baby that's what i'm talking about Okay, here we go. Oh, who's ready? Who's ready to take a caller? I am. <laughs> and I know what's wrong with me today. Okay, here we go. Okay, so when I call your area code, please give me your first name and your where you're calling from. And then you get one question or one connection. We're going to go to 509. Whoopsie. Uh, 509, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Please take me off of speakerphone. Thank you. Yes. Um, my name is Erica, and I'm calling from Washington State. Hey, Erica. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How can I help you, beautiful girl? Um, my question is... <laughs> Um, I'm curious to know if I'm pregnant or it will be in the near future. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at you. I'm thinking, I'm thinking back to the example that I gave with the pregnancy yeah, test. I know. I was <laughs> oh Lord, that is, yeah, that's not funny. Get serious. Um, is she? 
Okay. Um, I ha I'm going to ask this a little bit differently. Okay. Uh, let me ask you, sweetie, do you already have any children? No, and I don't want children oh. <laughs> right now. I'm just... Not right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, um, I can tell uh, the best way I can answer this right now is you're you're not going to have a baby no matter what you're 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 not going to so whatever decision you make is going to be the right one for you personally you mm -hmm. personally um I would keep it uh, I I'm hearing that song keep it on the down low and yes I totally I do not have the deep bravado for that I do not have the beat of that, but it's kind of a soul song saying, keep it on the down low. So whatever, whatever happens next, that's, that's your business. Don't share it with nobody. Um, I do feel like, you, I won't. Uh, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that, that don't, don't, um, you know, I'm, I'm not talking about you right now, but I'm going to make a really general statement. You know, everybody's so upset about RV Wade, but there's the morning after pill that nobody thinks about. And it's so, it's it's just like birth I control. Took it. <laughs> okay, good. Um, then maybe that's, that's why I'm getting what I'm getting. Um, but I'm getting yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, which means maybe yes. But no, and a yes, no with a pregnancy can mean, yes, you are, but no, there's going to be some sort of miscarriage or mispregnancy. Um, or yes, you think oh you are, but no, you're okay. not. Okay, so the yes, no can mean anything. But what I'm getting solid as solid is you're not going to have a baby anytime soon. Um, and that is a choice. Mm -hmm. And you have the right to make that choice. Um and I, uh -huh. I am also getting that you don't have to worry. Um, everything's going to work out like in your favor or the way you're wanting it to. And you're not going to have to. Um, it's not as much. Um, they're using the word hoopla as you think it's going to be like no jumping through hoops. No, nothing. It's going to it's a done deal. It's a done deal. OK. OK. Excellent. I know that. So this, I take it as a yes, I am. I don't know. I I don't know. Um, I, I'm, I, I'm not sure. I keep getting yes, no, yes, no. I feel like that either is you're afraid you are, but you really aren't. Or if, if you are, it's not going to go very far because perhaps of um, like the, the morning after or the, the, um, or like a miscarriage uh -huh. or something. So I would, um, I am hearing, make sure that ever you did everything appropriately and maybe double down on that. Um, and people, whatever your personal opinion about this is, that's exactly what it is. Your personal opinion, keep it personally to yourself. That's none of our business what you think about this. Um, so you do what you need to do. And if you need to double down on your choice, you double down on your choice. Okay, beautiful girl. Oh, uh, thank you so much. You are uh, that gave me clarity because I, I keep running through it. Am I, am I not? And then I just like stress myself out. And then I'm just like, you know what? I already have a plan regardless of what, what it's about, you know, I already have an outcome. So why, yeah. why stress? Yes. But yeah, I just uh, so don't you, you know, know just stick with. I've had the yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say like I've been on the depot. Uh, I was just gonna say I've been on the depot for like six years, and then I got into the implant. So I've, I've never been careless, you know. But, yeah. 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 I would say you know a lot of people don't realize that you know birth control is not 100% effective all the time. And what I would also say is, here's, here's the best way I can put this. Whatever your choice is, is part of your destined future. So don't worry about it, okay, sweetie? Uh-huh. 
Thank you. Yeah, I, I, uh, I had so many scenarios. Like, how is it going to affect me mentally if it's a positive, you know? But I, I, I don't know. I think that in a way, if, if I'm in this hole and it is going to be a positive, I feel like it just opened me up to be more caring and loving towards others. Yeah. Um, in a weird kind of way. Like, I feel like I show it more than yeah. I used to. Before, you know, I was very caring and loving. But I would never really show it. I would just act on it. Like, you know, right. from from the bottom of my heart, I would give, you know, my little cousin a gift or things like that. But now I just kind of feel like I show it, you know, I, I say it more. Like, oh, give me a kiss or whatever, yeah. you know? Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. Exactly. That's Absolutely. What it taught me. The scare. Uh, you know what? And remember what they were saying in the beginning that it could be, it could, it could be a false positive but it's going to be the outcome that you want. Okay, sweetie? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You have an Sounds amazing good. day. Thank you so much. Oh, you are so <laughs> welcome. And thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. I am going to go directly to the next caller, who is 415. 415, how are you today? Hi, great. This is Kate. Hey, Kate. How can I help you? Hey, um, I think the, well, first the round around song that came uh, a couple weeks ago when I called, that was the message for me. Oh, so this, the song came back again. Awesome. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Funny. So but, um, I, didn't, I didn't know it was that. So now I know that. <laughs> So how but can my I help question you? is my yeah. aunt. I'm thinking about my aunt, Auntie Chris is what we called her. And she's a very strong woman and she's been in my head. Okay. Give me a second. Oh, there are a lot of people out here today that have Chris, like uh, Genevieve from Can Canada said uh, she has a Christian from Australia who passed and you're saying you're anti Chris. So Chris, a Chris coming through today is awesome. Okay. I'm going to say whoever the Chris that came through earlier, they were, they biked. I, I feel like they biked. Okay. So let's, <clears throat> let's go to your aunt, anti Chris. So the first thing that, she would want to say is i don't i don't completely understand this and we're not going to jump to conclusions when we hear it um but move away um i agree i think it's the house because that's the first flash i had but i was trying to confirm it because i don't like to give such a direct mm. message unless it's absolute but I'm, I am getting that. Um, yes. Do you know what? It's, I, I'm so sorry, uh, Kate. Just one second. You guys that are watching me, there's no light flashing. There's no light on in my house. There's no, nothing. I'm on a very quiet street um, that is a dead end. And so that flashing light that's going on behind me, um, I just caught it out of the corner of my eye because I kind of like look away or close my eyes when I'm channeling. So that uh, that is pretty awesome. I'm going to have to watch this back to see more of that. But hey, angels, thank you for being here with us. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love each and every one of you until Wednesday at noon central. Have an amazing week. Thank you.